Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And in this video, we're looking at three sets of pixels or maybe a, a tail of three pixels. So what I wanna do is talk about regulated versus resistor pixels uh, in the 12 volt range. So if you're new to this, if you're new to this hobby, or maybe you've been around for a while, uh, one of the first things you're going to see when you go to buy pixels is there are a billion places to buy them today. So many vendors, some of them are good, some of them are great, some of them are bad. Um, and, uh, and all of them, pretty much, offer you the choice of regulated versus resistor pixels if you're getting 12 volt pixels. Okay, and so the question then becomes, which type of pixel should you get? Does it even matter? I'm going to share my take, what I, in my opinion, what you should look for, why you should care, and what you should use in your display. When it comes to buying pixels, my number one rule above anything else is the hardest rule to follow, the hardest to understand, the hardest to glean, I guess. And that is that when you buy pixels from a vendor, you want to buy quality pixels above anything else okay because there's all these vendors out here and they're all really similarly priced like for example i've got three strings of pixels in front of us here today okay they're very similarly priced um, this one was a little more expensive this one and this one were about the same price but they're, they're all different and in testing i found them to be um significantly different in terms of quality over a little bit of time, how many bad pixels did we get, how many bad pixels were there out of the box, et cetera, et cetera. So when it comes down to it, the vendor is going to be the person, whoever's selling them on the US side, who decides and really determines what level of quality they're gonna make by how much of an effort they make to keep that quality. There's a few ways they do that. Uh, the, the biggest way is they send independent contractors in China to the factory, okay, if they're made in China. Um, and those contractors check on the quality. Then when pixels get to the U.S., they test them. They're not going to test every pixel, but they're going to test uh, random parts out of each batch. They're going to make sure they're meeting all of their standards, okay? Um, but more than just testing... Uh, a lot of today's vendors have come up with new ways to make the pixels safer and better. Uh, a lot of this came out of the 2020 year where, among you know everything else that was happening, there were pixels that were catching on fire. And those pixels all came from one certain factory, pretty much. Uh, the, the vast majority of them came from one factory that is kind of known for having uh, lesser quality pixels, but also is uh, known as one of the biggest factories for pixels historically. So um, all that to say, if you're looking to buy pixels, what pixels should you buy and should you care about who brings them in, who makes them? Because they're all the same, right? Well, they're not all the same. So I just want to walk through an example here. So I've got three sets of pixels here. This first string right here, these are a regular regulated pixel from a US-based vendor that I don't think I've ever mentioned on this channel. I bought some last year when everybody else was out of stock and I wasn't happy with the quality. In terms of, you know, whether they, um, in terms of the amount of bad pixels, like they work as good as any other regulated pixel from anybody else. It's just that I've had a number of bad pixels from them. Number two is a short string uh, from USA Pix Plus, who now sells through your pixel store here in the US. They redesigned the pixel um, to be plastic instead of epoxy, to uh, be a little bit, I think it's a little bit lower wattage, and it also um, has some little hoops here and, and a little bit, they say, better design on how it goes into strips and coral. Um, I would like to comment further, but all I have is this little string I got at a trade show. Unfortunately, they've had a lot of production problems. I ordered at some point last year, was promised so many times that they would ship, and they just haven't yet. Um, so, you know, I, I want to believe in this design. I think it's good. It is a little more expensive than other people's pixels. Um, 
And so that brings us to pixel number three. All right, pixel number three is a regulated pixel from Matos Designs. And, you know, I really like the what Matos says. Is it even, is it on this box? No. Um, but it's on their website that says, you know, they want to sell you, they want to get display elements and provide that last a lifetime. But what I love about them is they're cheaper than the Pix Plus pixels, but they've gone, instead of redesigning the whole pixel, they say, okay, let's get the important stuff right. Make sure we get the right epoxy in the pixel. Make sure we get the right thickness of wire because that's somewhere that China vendors will cheap out and it'll cause problems down the line. And then they came up with a new way of manufacturing the circuit boards so that the chance of failure or fire or bad solder point is diminished to a very small percentage. And so they're seeing a lot more reliability. Um, for that reason, Buzzkill, um, I really like the Matos Pixels. And then they've got Regulated and Resistor, okay? So Regulated versus Resistor is preferential to a lot of people. Um, some people, including uh, the top article, if you search on a line, which is from uh, Wired Watts, say that Regulated is clearly better. It holds the voltage better. It can go longer distances, they say, before it's problematic, um, and, you know, it's a better design. Um, some people say they use a lower amperage, but that can depend on exactly which components were used. Um, and so there are some definite folks out there that are big proponents of regulated, okay? Um, and then there's resistor, um, and they're often a little cheaper. Uh, Matos offers both, like I said, um, and instead of, uh, you know, they, they supposedly don't go as far um, before you have to add new power or restart. Um, but let's take a look at an example, shall we? And I'll tell you why I typically choose resistor and why my display is mostly resistor pixels. Okay, so let me put these into test mode at full white. We have 200 pixels in each strand here. So here we are. I've set up a pixel controller. In this case, it's a Falcon F48. 200 pixels on each strand. This is the end of the Mato strand. It is white, maybe slightly miscolored. Um, yeah, not quite as bright, slightly miscolored compared to the first pixel. And then we have the regulated pixel, which if we go back about 75 pixels, we get to the point where they're at mostly full brightness and they're not stopping. Uh, if we were to run an animation of white on these, we would see as the amperage drops, and actually I'll go do it, uh, the rest of these pixels will light up and they'll kind of flicker in and out. So let me go do that a second. And so this is really why I'm a big resistor guy, and I've always been a resistor guy. I think uh, Wally from Wally's Lights said it, I, I, I saw him express it the most clearest first, which is with the resistor-based pixel. If you're in full white, which doesn't happen that much um, in most shows, you're going to see, you know, as that comes to full, maybe some slight discoloration of the pixel. If it starts to get long, they're going to start to turn pinkish or brownish. But overall, it generally looks right to the average audience member. And that's what I'm all about. It's like, OK, you know, folks are coming. They're watching your show. They're sitting in your driveway and if it looks a little brownish or a little more pinkish than it should, they're really not going to care when it's at full white, okay? Um, whereas with the regulated, they just drop off a cliff. So you can probably see these are coming to full here and they're, they're dipping down from full and we've got the end of our string here. And it's like when they get all the way down, some of them at the end start to turn on and then they flick off and it's really distracting. Um, and so again, both... 200 pixels, both theoretically the same wattage. Um, but regardless, you'll see that when a uh, resistor-based pixel starts to fade off, uh, it looks a lot better than a regulated type pixel, uh, which is why I'm, I'm big on team resistor. Okay, so let's talk for a quick second about the Matos Designs pixels, okay? Um, there's, there's a couple of reasons why I like them. There's a lot of pixel vendors I like. We've, we've, in the past, we've mentioned, um, you know, like Wired Watts, Wally's Lights. The Wired Watts doesn't, I don't think does resistor pixel at all, but Wally's Lights, um, there's other places. 
And there, there are a number of good vendors out there. There's some to avoid. Um, but I've just really found for, you know, the way that I like to run my show and the way that I like to lead you guys on the channel, um, Matos Designs is a clear win with their pixels. I think they're just doing that kind of 80-20 principle of like, okay, how can we use the same old pixel design that's at a great price, but ensure that quality is at a high level so that they perform really well. And I, I think they've, they've won that, that fight. Um, I did pay for these pixels. Um, so, you know, we have, obviously we work with Matos. They sell our doming, our beams. Um, and, uh, as you're about to find out, um, we're able to offer their pixels through the Lauren Christmas lighting store as well. So if you do need pixels, I really do recommend the Matos design pixel. Uh, we've got them here at Learn Christmas Lighting, and uh, we'd love to help you get them, or just go to Matos directly. Like, I, I really don't care if if I make a dime off of you getting the pixels. I just want you to get the right pixels. And when a company comes forward like Matos, and they come out with a design, and they, they put it together in a way that um, doesn't cost you more money, but offers you a better product, then it's like a no-brainer. So that's why all my ads for my show this year are going to be Matos Designs Pixels, all the new stuff. Um, but I am going to, when my Pix Plus Pixels finally come in, I'm going to put those in my display. I've got three or four other vendors, and I do mark them all in my display from the past. So I will be keeping track. But uh, from what I'm seeing so far and from talking to Matos, from talking to just other people in the industry uh, who've used their Pixels, it... it Definitely seems, and I'm getting the feedback that, hey, these are as reliable as I'm seeing where, you know, I've got a batch that came in of like 2,000 pixels. You know, none are bad. They're all working good out of the box. Um, and as I continue to use them, I expect to see the same because the, the quality here uh, seems really great. So I hope this helps you choose pixels for your Christmas light display. If it did, uh, or if you're just new and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, Head over to LearnChristmasLighting.com, grab our free guide, the, the couple things that I want you to know before you begin with Christmas lighting. It's yours for free. Just enter your email, and we will see you on our next video here if you're subscribed. Thanks so much for watching, and have a Merry Christmas. See ya.